Maybe you're, maybe something's going on in your life. And believe me, I know there's a lot of things going on in people's lives. There's things going on in my life. But those things will not impede the flow of the healing and the life and the purity of God's river in your life. And if you would, I'm going to ask you to come and bring that and throw it in the river. Now, let me tell you what someone might think. Oh, Pastor, I can't step off into this river. What I've done, my past, what I'm going through, my lack of faith or whatever it is you're dealing with would just pollute this river. No, 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 no. Anything that touches the river of God is made pure. Wait on out. Ezekiel said, the angel told me to come out into the river a thousand, a thousand cubits. And it was knee deep. And he measured another thousand cubits there in Ezekiel 47. And it was waist deep. And then he measured another. And I was up to my head. And then he measured some more. And I was beginning to swim. God wants you to swim in His river. Don't dabble at the shore. Don't, don't wait around in the shallows. God's got a cleansing. God's got a healing. God's got a saving. God's got a provision. God's got a greater blessing for you today. Would you come and stand with me and let's receive what we need from the river of God? Would you come? Whatever you need. I'm in need today. And I'm trusting God. For you come. And be glad. Oh, yes, I'll be glad. about the river of God as it's described here in Revelation 22. This book of last things, the last chapter, the last book, the, the last six things that are mentioned here 
all these promises, these prayers, these provisions, this word, the word of Jesus, the message, all of this is not over when you close the book. It's the beginning of the fulfillment that everything God said will become reality in your life in the physical and in the spiritual in the temporal and in the eternal now and from the beginning and I believe the Lord is here today to meet every need of everyone that's come forth today and right now I want you to just give that to God Lord I've come today for a healing I've come for a good word from you, from heaven. Just begin to tell him what you need. Lord, my brothers and sisters have come here today to be touched by you, to walk in your river, to walk in the flow, and to experience the reality of your movement in their lives. Let the clarity and the purity and the perpetual flow, let the eternal aspect of your river, let all the nutrient and let all the power let all the cleansing, let all the life become real in us today. We give you praise. We give you glory for what you're doing in everyone's life here today. Hallelujah. There is a fountain. There is a fountain. Full of grace. Full of grace. And it flows. And it flows from. Some of you here today may have come today thinking that this river is symbolic. This is something that John saw in a vision in the revelation of Christ. I want to tell you, everything in the revelation, let me say this, this is not the book of revelations, the book of revelation, it's a revelation of Jesus Christ. Everything in this revelation will be reality. That's why it was sent. And I just want to say this. I'm preaching and going to be preaching about these end time things. And my preaching in the very near future is going to be apocalyptic. Because I don't think we can play around any longer with our relationship with God. Jesus Christ is coming back. You take a look at the world today, never has there been apostasy like there is today. Never has there been a move of God like there has been today. Never has there been things of such drastic report, proportion happening on the scale that they've been happening in the last four years. Since the tsunami, tsunami in, in, in southern and southeast Asia and all the things that's taken place with the earthquakes, this is the beginning of the end. And we need to be serious about who we are in Christ. We need to quit <laughs> dabbling around in the edge of the river. We need to wade out. As we say today, everybody likes reality TV. It's time we get real in our relationship. Get out in the river. Get out where the flow of God is. Get out where God can move us. And we're not going to be moved by anything else, by any wind of doctrine, by any wind of doubt, by any wind of fear.